A boy in Morristown is listed in good condition in East Tennessee Children's Hospital. He was shot in the head with a BB gun over the weekend. His mother says the pellet is now lodged in his brain and doctors are choosing to leave it there. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith has some insight from medical experts and a warning to other parents from the mother of that young boy. Shannon. John, 12 year old Gage and his friends were playing with his BB gun over the weekend when another boy shot Gage just above his left eye. His mom is now urging gun safety for everyone handling any type of weapon. 12 year old Gage of Morristown loves football, but it's a game he won't be able to play any longer. On Saturday, another child shot Gage's BB gun over his left eye. His mom says it broke his optical bone and the BB stopped in the center of his brain. It's still there. I think it's less than a 2% chance that a metallic form body gets an infection. Dr. Ryan Green with UT Medical Center's emergency department says people can go their whole lives with things like BBs in their bodies. It's kind of a, a risk benefit of will it be more harm to take it out or more harm to leave it in. Gage's mom says that'll be the case for him. His neurologist at Children's Hospital says surgery to remove it is too risky, but it's been three days with no signs of infection. For the most part, it's uh, it's safe and your body kind of walls it off and it just stays there. A study published in pediatrics shows since 1990, BB guns accounted for about 80% of firearm related eye injuries. Injuries like this are preventable. Be careful with what you do if you're playing with BB guns or guns or any sort of a uh, metal object, make sure it's used appropriately. Gage's mom asks that kids are taught proper gun safety and supervised when playing with BB guns or any type of dangerous toy. She says Gage is up and walking around now, showing emotion and talking for the first time in a few days. The whole family is grateful for the support they've received from friends and from strangers. Gage did not lose his eyesight, which is great news. He will be spending New Year's though in the hospital. He is on seizure watch and it will be a little longer until he can go to his home in Morristown. John, we wish him well. Shannon, thank you.